G'day, g'day, welcome one and all to another installment of Gov's Hero Review Videos. Uh, this time we are going to continue our series. We've been looking at some of the past legendary featured heroes of the month. Uh, this time we are going to take a look at the uh, blue hero, Visor, the X-Ray Sentinel. Uh, now, Visor was first introduced to us in the game as the featured hero of the month in May 2021. Uh, today, however, uh, Visor is only available for summons during the Manor of Legends portal, which comes around once every four weeks. This portal does, however, have some pretty atrocious odds uh, in terms of summoning heroes, because if they're not a featured hero, they're part of a ever-growing crowd of old heroes of the month. Uh, with just a 0.9% chance of summoning, so I think they're up to like 30 or 35 heroes now, um, and that portal is just that pool is just growing uh, month on month. When they are a featured hero, the odds are better, but still quite low. Um, so it's like half a percent chance for the, a specific featured hero of the month. Um, but yeah, so you know there is a limited time when limited number of times when the heroes are featured uh, for visor his final featured appearance was supposed to be january 2024 according to the rotation they were doing but they've sort of gone a little bit off schedule with that because they've got natalia showing at the moment so who knows when visor is next actually going to be the featured hero if he ever actually is featured again in that portal um so yeah uh, I'm going to flip over to my roster real quick and we can take a look at his artwork. So it's drawing on some of those um, Cyclops sort of vibes from X-Men uh, with like the laser eyes sort of thing. He's got some harpoon gun. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why a X-Ray Sentinel has a harpoon gun, but he's got one with a couple spare harpoons on his back. So anyway, that's his artwork. Have a bit of a looky-see. Um, pause if you wish to. So... Uh, I'm going to head back to the portal and we're going to dig to find um, Visor again um, and we can discuss the next part. So the next part, the review is talking about his uh, family bonus. Unfortunately, as a past hero of the month, uh, Visor doesn't have a family bonus. There isn't a family bonus for the old heroes of the month at the time of this review. Maybe they're going to add one sometime down the track, but at this stage they don't have anything. In terms of Visor's personal stats, he comes in with 779 attack, 621 defense, and 13, uh, 1310 HP. So uh, it is worth pointing out he does have overall lower stats. Um, this is a result of you know his age and the power creep that's happened since then. Um, so that's a lower stat line overall compared to some of the more recent heroes I've been reviewing. Um, but even of that time, he does have quite an inflated, like a massively inflated attack stat. His HP is about the same and his defense is quite low um, compared to other heroes of that age. So, yeah. His charge speed is set to 60, which is fast. Uh, this requires 9 tiles to charge or 5 ghosted tiles. In order to achieve a speed break, you do need to get plus 5, uh, which is possible using either of the available blue speed guns. Um, to get a double break, you can't actually get there because that needs plus 13 and the best weapons we've got in blue are plus 9. Uh, so this does make his class emblem node somewhat irrelevant. Um, so I wouldn't bother picking that speed node up in his, his class tree. Speaking of his class, Visor is a member of the Sharpshooter class, which grants the hero a chance to bypass all defensive buffs, including counterattack, on the target enemy. It is a pretty useful ta uh, talent. It does completely negate any buffs which would affect the damage output from his special skill um, or the tiles that are attributed to him. It is only a chance to bypass those buffs, so I wouldn't go like counting on it to kill someone with counterattack because most likely you're going to get the return damage anyway. In terms of a specific emblem path, I'm going to pull up Tori and use her. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Um, Tori's one. Um... Oh, I don't have my draw tool open. This is going well. Um, yeah, so her, in terms of an ember path, I would go an attacking path um, to try and increase his attack out and his damage output. Uh, you could go a defense HP route to try and improve his survival, but I I wouldn't bother personally. Um, I'd just go and make him make bigger bangs. So uh, in terms of a path, I'd be going left towards the attack stat and then right again to pick up the next attack. Um, coming down to node, um, this node, I'd be going towards the defense and attack node, pick up the attack node, attack node, grab the pierce chance, and then we go attack, 
and then follow the attack down to plus 18. I wouldn't go any further than plus 18 um, because there's no real need to get the 19 or 20 nodes. Um, and like I said, that speed node isn't really relevant um, because of how his, his skill works. So yeah, so that's, apologies, I couldn't draw that. Um, I might, do I have a leveled sharpshooter that I went an attack path on? Uh, quattro maybe. Close. So this is similar to what I would do. Um, the only difference that I'd do is not take that speed node. I wouldn't pick up that speed node. I'd instead go to this side for vision, um, for visor, sorry. So yeah, that would be, that's a very similar path to a path I would take for, for visor. All right, heading back to the portal and we'll have a dig around and we can start on his special skill. Oh, that was convenient. So his special skill is titled Phantom Snipe and at level 10 skill and 60 charge speed, it will deal 220% damage to the target and deal an additional 200% damage if the target has less than 50% health remaining. The caster will then gain a stealth buff and a plus 28% dodge buff for three turns if the target is killed. So breaking that apart, there's essentially two sections to it. You've got the damage and you've got the effects if you kill a target. So uh, in terms of the damage output, um, it's hard to compare heroes or to calculate every hero's damage output because it relies on too many variable factors such as defense stats and randomness and ailments and so on and so forth. What we can do though is I calculate a hero's attack power. So an attack power is what feeds into the damage calculation. Um, and it's quite simply, it's you take the hero's attack stat and you multiply it by the percentage in their special skill. So in the case of uh, Visor, his attack is 779, 220% uh, on his snipe damage, and that comes out in a attack power of 1714. To account for the various speeds that there is of different heroes, you can then divide it by the number of tiles, and that gets us the attack power per tile which for Visor comes in at 190, which is the third worst of the blue snipers in the game um, at the time of this review. So his, his base damage output isn't great, but when we take into account that additional 200% damage that he gets if he's hitting someone with less than 50% health, his attack power per tile actually ratchets all the way up to being amongst the top three in the game, or the top four. It goes up to 364 attack power per tile, behind only zero point when targeting someone with more health than herself. Uh, Lillian Variant, who has just an insane, an absolutely absurd amount of damage output for her speed, and Maverick when he gets off his bonus attack as well. So Visor is, when targeting with like the slightest amount of, of human intervention, um, it becomes very, very easy for Visor to just deal this phenomenal amount of damage. So I'm not sure if people are aware, but in a battle, you can actually check the health of an opposing hero or target an enemy. Uh, all you need to do is like tap and hold. So press and hold on the enemy and it brings up like a little window that tells you what their health, their attack and all that kind of stats are for that hero. So um, if you weren't aware, that is an easy way of checking if someone's got less than 50% health or not. So yeah. Base damage, not fantastic. Damage with bonus damage, um, total damage output, pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, moving on from the damage output, um, the next part of his special skill is the self-application of a stealth buff and the plus 28% dodge for three turns uh, if the target is killed. So this is like the first appearance of the combination of these two skills into one, one line. Uh, more recently, it's been given on heroes like Renegade and Amethyst. Um, on Visor, however, it only applies if the target is killed, which going back to that damage output, it's quite likely if you're selective about who you target. Um, like someone with that's copying three and a half thousand attacking power is most likely going to die. Um, there's not too much that can save them from that if they've already got less than 50% health. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it is quite, quite likely. So overall in the grand scheme of things, Visor isn't actually a bad hero. His damage output, it's poor when you just look at it on its base damage output, but it becomes extremely attractive when you're targeting someone with less than 50% of health. The combination of stealth and dodge buffs, it can actually make up a little bit for his poor defensive stats in terms of keeping him alive to fire a second or even a third time in a battle um, because the stealth stops him from getting hit by AoE attacks uh, or poor um, AI targeting 
And the dodge buff means that any tiles or slash damage that's coming his way can have the chance to be dodged. Unfortunately, for Visor, the biggest comparison that he really gets would be to Cooper and Zero Point, both of whom he have a similar metric where they gain bonus damage if they're targeting someone with more or less than 50% health or in sorry in Cooper's case it's less than 50% zero point if they've got more health than than she does so against Cooper and zero point though he's lacking on one really 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 key element so the big difference between Visor and these other heroes is that when they kill someone these other heroes gain 50% charge when they kill the enemy. Visor, by comparison, just gets kind of like a three-turn partial invisibility cloak. Uh, it's nice, but 50% charge goes a long way towards charging that hero to fire a second time, a third time, a fourth time, a fifth time. And it's really easy for Cooper and, and Zero Point to, once they've fired that first time, to just keep them rolling and chain kills in a battle. Whereas Visor, you still need those nine tiles to charge him every single time. So Visor isn't a bad hero, but he could be so much better. He could have literally been a blue alternative to Cooper and he would be absolutely schmick. Everyone would love him in that case. So uh, anyway, for Visor's grading, I'm going to rate him as getting a B plus for attack. Uh, he's not as good as some other heroes that you could compare him to, but he is still very solid. Um, so for war and raid attacks, I give him a B plus. For war machines, I'm only going to give him a C. This is only because um, of his attack stat. He doesn't really contribute anything else to a war machine team. Uh, eventing, again, a C. He'll contribute to tile damage, but he's not going to help you with, with clearing waves and scoring big in those events. Uh, for war and raid defense, I'm going to drop him down to a C minus. Um, and that's because he has situational damage increase, which relies on some degree of good targeting, which the AI typically doesn't do well. However, when he does fire, he can deal off quite a lot of damage um, if the AI gets lucky. So that's what's keeping him out of the D range. Uh, positional, probably best suited to being on a wing, uh, is probably his best place on a defense team. Moving on to the tournament settings, so Bloody Battle, I'm going to give him a B plus for attack and a C minus for defense. Um, and that's because their heroes are more likely to be in that minus 50% health range because they can't heal out of it. So he does gain a little bit more use in that setting. Uh, buff Booster, I'm going to give him an A minus and a C minus slight improvement on his attacking side of things because he does grant himself two buffs, uh, which in turn increases his damage output. Uh, charged attack, a B plus and a C minus, so back to sort of his original grading. So overall for his grading that comes in at a B for an attack grade and a C minus for a defense grade. And that concludes the content that I have for this review of Visor. Uh, as always, this is just my personal opinion on these heroes. I do love hearing your thoughts and feedback on them. So please do jump down to the comments section and leave me a note there. I do love reading them and I try to respond to as many of you as I possibly can. If you did enjoy the video, please like it, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, but most importantly, share the video around to your alliance mates and the people you play with, because in all likelihood, if it was useful for yourself, it's going to be useful to other people also. Thank you once again for tuning in and joining me for this review. I do hope that I will see you again soon in another video, but until then, good luck, stay safe, and happy gaming. Cheers. Bye.